Hello everyone, a quick video on the rear wheel maintenance. So I have been cleaning up and I'm gonna change the sprocket. The sprocket, funnily enough, after 20,000 kilometers is actually really not worn at all. But I'm gonna change the chain, so I'm gonna do that. But this is the rear wheel sprocket um, hub and there is a dust seal and a, a, a bearing. Now, I'm gonna ride over the winter and the biggest problem is that if um, the water, salt and grime gets into the bearing, it's going to destroy it very quickly. So what protects the bearing is the dust seal. And that's the problem here because the spacer itself is a stainless steel um, and it's not worn much um, at all. So what happens now is that if I just drop the spacer in, it just goes there freely and there is a, a play in it. Now that is wrong. That means that the dust seal is worn out. So if I have a fresh dust seal in here with the correct size and I put the spacer in so in such a way, so I'm not gonna break that. And that spacer is now in and it's very difficult to take it out. So when I put it back onto the hub, it's gonna actually fit very nicely um, and that is what's going to protect the bearing during the winter. Really quick tip, very cheap to do, very easy to do, just pop them out, put them in, that's it. Okay, it's a little bit of a, a brute force but slowly work it out. That's it. That's the bearing. Let's just clean it up. One thing when you're gonna take it out is that do not press on this area of the bearing. It will destroy it. It's a sealed bearing. This is a very important piece of the bearing. So what you want to do is go here and if you want to ply it out, you have to be on a metal part of the bearing. So that's what's inside. Um, there should be a spring, which it is not on this one. Now on this one, there is a little spring, which is gonna actually seal a bit better. Now what's happening here is that we will just slide that in and that's the installation done. I put a little bit of a grease in so just it gets easier to install and then really it's just about evenly pressing it in which may be a bit of work because it's a very tight fit but once it's in just press it easy That's it, flush with the entrance. And now this is a difference. There is a no play and I can almost lift the hub on the spacer. Job done.